Hey, welcome back you guys. So uh, I'm on a Pokemon Celebration Pack unboxing um, kind of roll going. Uh, so I was lucky enough to snag this from Best Buy. I, I wasn't sure I was actually going to be receiving one. Um, so the Thursday before this was released, uh, I happened to jump onto the Best Buy website at about 10 p.m. Pacific time and um, their website was just going bonkers with everyone trying to snag something from the celebration uh, lineup and I, I was lucky enough to see this sh show up as add to cart so I went ahead and added it and um, got the notification that it was ready for pickup at the Best Buy I had selected so I went over there sure enough Here's the this pack. This is the deluxe pin collection from the celebrations. Um, like all the other uh, celebration packs, it's got the nice 25th anniversary logo in the bottom corner. It does not have the raised um, logo anywhere on the plastic packaging. I did notice that. Um, I don't know if it's maybe hidden, but I, I did not see that evident like the other pack uh, boxes that I've unboxed for this uh, lineup. But we're going to go ahead and dig into this, um, this pack. So let's go ahead and open up. the box off on the side um, oh here it is speak of the 25th anniversary the raised logo it is on the packaging it was just hidden underneath uh, the outer packaging but you can see it here on the bottom left side um, and let's pop this off I see some goodies here on the right side Okay, so there's nothing on the lid, not like the other uh, unboxing, so we're going to go ahead and put the lid off on the side. And that's going to leave us a uh, couple card packs. Obviously we got, looks like, four celebration card packs here. We're going to put this off on the side. And we have two booster packs. I'm going to put this off on the side and let's look at some of the unique items in this pack. To start with, we have this foil card here. And that's a pretty nice card there. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. That one's nice. It is really hard to see the writing on this gold ribbon on the bottom, but there is some writing down there. Put this off on the side. And then we got this pin. It's got some weight behind it. It's kind of nice to see. It's the surfing Pikachu, it looks like, with the pink surfboard on the waves. Does this move? Oh, this moves. Look at that. And then you have the flying Pikachu up in the air with the balloons. I was kind of wondering because that's an extremely thick pen uh, and it looked like there was multiple layers. Sure enough, this, this top rotates. Now it also feels like there's a locking me mechanism back here. So it will actually catch that magnet. So you can see it's pretty f free floating down there. It just, but as soon as this goes up, you can almost hear it and see it lock into place. Right there. When you look at the back of the pin itself, those are pokeballs, those little round 
engraving on the back of the pin. That's pretty cool. I'm trying not to blind you guys. All right. Well, that's a awesome pin. One to definitely add to the collection. I'll go ahead and drop that off on the side. There's nothing left in this tray, so we're gonna go ahead and put the tray on the side. We'll dig right into the the packs that we received. Again, two booster packs, um, and then four celebration. I like keeping the celebration on the side for the end, so we'll go ahead and do that for this video as well. So digging right into it, we'll start with the Chilling Rain booster pack. Open this up, take a look at what cards we got. Again, if you guys, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I'm primarily collecting these cards so I can trade with my niece and nephew. They're really at the point uh, where they're enjoying looking at the Pokemon cards uh, more than the game aspect. So I'm always looking for some, some cards to trade with them and get them a larger collection. So we got a Rock Rough. Um, this is a card I definitely already have, so we'll be adding to our collection. A Shuppet. Don't believe I have a Shuppet. Got a very uh, Christmas-esque uh, theme going with the snow in the background. Ooh, we have the cast form, the snowy form. I do not have this. We have a Ghastly. I do have Ghastly already, so we're going to add to the collection. We have a Kubfu. I do have him already. Don't believe my niece has him, so maybe this might be a card I'll trade with her. We have a Diglett. Now Diglett is got that kind of shine to the bottom. You can really see it right there. So that's a nice little Diglett. Ooh. A Calyrex? That is a shiny card. I thought my niece would like this character a little bit more because of the this horse figure. To me, it kind of looks like a unicorn. She's five. She's into the pink uh, girly items, um, including unicorns. So I thought that would be something she would gravitate towards. I think she she's maybe not gravitating to this as much, um, just because maybe it looks a little bit scarier than uh, like a princessy themed. That's a cool card. We have energy. Put that off on the side. We have a honey card. Now, I know I have honey already. So, this will be a duplicate for me. But I don't believe my niece or nephew have him. Or have her, sorry. We have another energy. This is a special energy card. And then we have a stadium card here, Path to the Peak. And this is a new card for me as well, so. That's a pretty cool pack there. Let's jump right into the Vivid Voltage uh, pack that we have here. Uh, this is from the Sword and Shield line. This will be the second booster pack. Um, in this unboxing, this was also the last uh, booster pack that we have before we move over to the celebration packs. So we have a rock rough here, which is kind of interesting that we're getting a rock rough here in this pack. And we also started with the rock rough in the other pack. So you can kind of see it side by side. That's really cute. So we start with the Brock Ruff. I'm 
we have a tail low. Yen me or Yen Ma Yon Ma Ding. Whooper. That's cute. It looks like he's in a little bath there. I thought Whooper was water based. Hmm, that's interesting. We have a shop it. So we got a shop it and the other one is the other pack as well. So um, two shop it's luckily different uh, packs. So two different uh, cards. It's nice. Garb order, order, ooh, garbodor. <laughs> Here's our energy card for the booster pack. So now we got the swallow that goes with the tail low. Zapstrika My last card is a uh, Dusclops And I don't have a Dusclops so this will be a good one All right, well that that's the end of the two booster packs that we received we have the four celebration packs So let's go ahead now I am still missing some cards from the Celebration series, so I'm hoping that we can at least uh, complete the series or find some of our missing cards to get closer to completion. Um, I, to me, I just think that that would be pretty awesome um, to actually have like one one set that's complete. But I don't want to hold my breath. I know. So Yevtol, we have a Yevtol already. That card. A Cosmog. We have Cosmog. Oh, okay, so this is the last Pikachu card that I don't believe I had, so I am happy that I am getting him. This is the birthday Pikachu. That one's cool. And we have a flying Pikachu. That's pretty cool. Now I do already have the flying Pikachu, so this will be a nice addition to add. So, starting this pack, we got another Cosmog. A Xerneas. Bird of Par Paradise Deer. Dialga. And, oh, it's a black card. Another Flying Pikachu. Interesting. So two for two on this flying Pikachu. All right, let's dig into this next set here.
Okay. Digging into it. Kill gray. You have tall. A grood on. <coughs> A surfing Pikachu. Wow. Three packs, three Pikachu cards. Actually four if you count the birthday Pikachu, so we're off to a good start. We only have one more pack to open. Let's see if we get lucky. All right, last pack. We have the Reshiram. We have the Yavtal. We have Lugia. The last card I can already see is not a Surfing Pikachu. A Lunala. All right, well, that's it from this unboxing video. I mean, you can see all the different cards that came in this set. The, we got lucky and had uh, at least four different Pikachu cards, or I should say four Pikachu cards um, in this unboxing, as well as I really love this pin. Um, almost dropped it. Uh, this pin, it's got that nifty flying and surfing Pikachu effect to it uh, with the rotating clouds or the winds, depending on how it's sitting. But that is, that is really cute. So. Let me know in the comments uh, if you guys like these videos, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, things you want to see in the future. Uh, let me know. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.